I'm confident this is going to be the most important Pokemon investing video you will ever watch if you execute on what I'm about to tell you. And that's a big if. A lot of people can't do it. Let's turn $1,000 into $100,000. And it's a lot more doable than you think. Let's get started. Hello, beautiful people. Captain Zach Sparrow here. Now, before I jump into everything, I want to let you know up front, no. You're not going to make $100,000 tomorrow if you only have $1,000 to play with right now. However, can you get there before you're dead? Yes. And hey, if you end up dying, you'll never know, right? <laughs> I'm going to make a couple of assumptions in this video, and that is understanding that most people probably have a few hundred bucks or a few thousand bucks or thousands to play with. That's why you're watching these videos. You're investing in Pokemon. Here's the thing. Let's say you only have a hundred bucks to play with right now, which I know is not true for the far majority of you. I know a lot of you are buying booster boxes, which are over a hundred dollars, generally speaking right now. But let's say you only buy about a booster box a month or a couple or a few ETBs. And that's all you have to work with. You're like, man, I only have about a hundred bucks to work with per month. Here's the thing. Whatever you did to get a hundred dollars, do it again. There's $200. Now do it again. Do you see what I'm saying? It's Silly easy to get to a thousand dollars and I know it sounds it sounds like I don't care but hit a thousand dollars Do whatever you need to do if you need to work another part-time job If you need to work overtime, you need to ask for money beg for money Ask your grandma if you can rubber bunions for an extra 50 bucks do what you got to do And again, if you don't want to do any of those things, those aren't options Simply wait 10 months if you have a hundred dollars a month wait 10 months and there's your thousand dollars Okay, great now that we all have a thousand dollars to play with once you have that initial one thousand dollar investment Hmm, what do I put it in? I wanna let you know something up front. So in the investing world, there is always something better you could have put your money into. You're always going to look at that one stock where you're like, oh man, you know, if I would have put just a fraction of that in there, I wouldn't have to work for the rest of my life. There's always going to be that scenario. Number one, cut that out. Don't pay any attention to it. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, I'm going to break this down more, but the general idea of how we're going to hit this dollar amount and how we're going to hit it fast is by implementing a strategy. Now, it sounds simple up front, but it gets increasingly more complex. What we're going to do is you're going to sell into hype, and then you are going to buy as it is heading down. Let's take MetaZoo right now. It's a prime example. I know we're, we're going to get to Pokemon in a minute. MetaZoo, the box has climbed in just a handful of days. The box has climbed for, from around $250 a box to sell. I saw a box sell for over $800 earlier. They're selling around the $700 mark, but I saw one sell for over 800 bucks. Now, when something is climbing that quick and I cannot analyze something, and when we as a firm could not analyze something, guess how much money we put into said product? This much. If I can't analyze it, I am not putting my money into it. I don't know why boxes are climbing this high right now. I better put all my money into this. Don't. Do not. No. I've seen so many comments of people saying, well, it's only going to go up from here. It's in its infancy and people are just now finding it. That is not true. Again, I'm going to refer to this a lot, but it's called the rubber band effect. When a stock goes ballistic at first, it has just as much potential to spike down. And when that aggressive shift happens, if you have faith in the stock, you're like, of course I'm going to invest in Amazon on its way down. That is when you invest. And again, you're not going to buy at the absolute lowest and you're not going to sell at the highest. So I'm going to tell you a strategy I'm doing right now. Again, referring to MetaZoo. I bought several boxes for around 100 bucks and I bought some off of eBay that were scalper prices at around 250 bucks. I've already sold several boxes at that $700 mark knowing, hey, this might continue going up. And I am willing to bet I am going to see an aggressive shift down when that happens. Not if, but when that happens, you can bet I'm going to be buying then and selling on its way up again. It's a, For me, it's a silly, easy way to make money on this. I've already, I'm holding on to several booster boxes for free now. But that's because I'm able to objectively look at what's going on. I am not buying into the FOMO. Oh my goodness, it's just gonna keep going up. Now, that same exact principle can work with basically any Pokemon set ever. At the very beginning, a lot of us know this, but some of you might not. At the very beginning of a set's release, the prices are going to be insane, like unrealistically insane. They're going to be sky high. Then what happens? Anyone who's been in the game for more than two minutes knows that it's going to see a trend down. And then you're going to see it level off and find its balance wherever that point is at. So if you're able to get product early and sell at the hype at the beginning, take advantage of that with your $1,000. You're like, 
man, I, I'm friends with this distributor and I know I can get product immediately and I'm gonna sell it the day it comes out. I got it at distributor costs and now I'm going to sell it at secondary market price. That's a great way to make money. Now, let's say you're an average Joe and you can't do that. You don't have access to product immediately, even if you have access to good pricing. So you're either going to buy product and know that you're gonna hold it long-term, long meaning, long enough for you to see an increase on that. Generally speaking, if you're looking at English Pokemon sets, you're gonna be looking at, again, generally a couple of years. It can vary, especially if there wasn't enough product at the very beginning of the set. There are a bunch of variables. And then as soon as that starts going insane, Vivid Voltage was a pretty good example of this. Start selling. Oh man, you know, I don't know when to sell though. It's it's just, it keeps going up. I don't know, that, that doesn't matter. As soon as you get to the point where if you're selling on eBay, for example, you're like, ah, oh, you know, eBay is gonna take 12 point whatever percent in fees. And then I have taxes on top of that and shipping to factor in. As soon as you get into the green and you're like, hey, you know, from a case of Vivid Voltage booster boxes, I'm totally cool with selling this case that I got for $650 for $1,200. Take that profit now. Oh man, if I would've held it for another week, I would've tripled my money. It doesn't matter. Now take that new money that you just got. It, now you just doubled your $1,000. What, whatever it is you were investing in, repeat that cycle. Repeat that cycle. Now you've got $5,000. Guys, it does not take long. Yeah, man, well, not every set performs like Vivid Voltage. Ah, you're right. Let's go ahead and talk about battle styles then. Now, this one, unfortunately, it does take longer, but do you think booster boxes, I got my cases at $88 per box inside of it. Do we think that that's going to last forever? So I got some cases for $528. As soon as those cases start hitting $700 plus, I am well into the green with those boxes. Again, it doesn't matter if they're gonna hit $5,000 a box. If I sell them when I am ready to sell them, when I break into that green, take that chunk of profit. Now, instead of $528 that I initially invested, now I've got $750 to work with and I build off of that. Okay, that's still kind of generic advice, man. Let's go ahead and look at the shiny Charizard VMAX. I know I've talked about that a lot on this channel, but everyone likes to invest in Charizard, it seems. So let's just go ahead and use Charizard because at least people understand it. So a shiny Charizard VMAX, I know you can get a mint raw copy of the card for around 200 bucks. Now here's a step that we can't control currently. You can't really send it into PSA and profit unless it comes back at 10 and even then it's gonna be close. So let's assume you're going to get a nine, which I saw a PSA nine sell for around $300 the other day, which means you could still profit from it, but we would wanna wait a little bit more time for that to mature, for it to be worth it. So if it comes back at 10, you're already winning. Let's say PSA opens up their bulk submission services again, and instead of $20 a card, it's 30 or it's $50 a card. Let's just assume it's $50 a card. You send the, the Charizard in, dang it, it comes back a PSA nine wait a little bit on that card, and then you flip into the market when, oh my goodness, did you see Charizard's getting its own television series on Netflix? Wow, and all the Charizard cards just go ballistic. That's when you sell. Whenever there's FOMO, whenever there's hype, whenever things start spiking up, uh, I don't know how much higher it's gonna go. Doesn't matter. Lock in your profits where you can, move on. I'm telling you, the best brokers on the planet, and I worked with some of them, the best ones, they were so aggressive about Oh my gosh, I just got a 4%. They sell, cut their losses, move on, move on, move on. You look at it like a robot. Be super objective. <gasps> That's profit, lock it in now. I don't know if you guys understand the weight of what I'm trying to tell you. I am not joking. The average person does not do this. Most people do not do this. They do not capitalize on this. I am not joking. I had a buddy of mine submit some PSA cards, cost him $600 to send it in. Wow, for some card, those cards now, they're worth over $4,000 when there's a dip in the market on those particular cards. But nobody capitalizes on that. Capitalize on the profit that you make now. Use that money, free up that money. You don't have that opportunity cost anymore. Invest in whatever you think is going to do well, like an EV Heroes gem box or this certain pro. It doesn't matter what it is if you believe in that particular bit or that set, invest in it, and then sell once you start seeing profit. So what sets would you recommend to invest? Literally any set ever. If you watch my XY Evolutions video, which you should, by the way, the one with the thumbnail where it says 5,000% return on something. If you watch that video, you would understand any set increased over time. Any set, some of them take longer than others. 
Sure, some of them outperform other ones by a landslide. It doesn't matter. If you are patient enough, those sets you would have made money on. They said that wasn't going to be the case for black and white. Guess what? It happened. And it's scary. I know the more money you put into it, the more money you're going to get out of it. It's hard to make $100,000 if you're starting off investing with $1. So again, what's my personal strategy on stuff like this? I'm investing in Japanese sets. A lot of Japanese sets tend to outperform English sets. That's just because they're printed to demand. And that's it. With the English sets, surprise, we've got an 18th reprint wave for you. So almost any Japanese set ever, sit on it for a while, make easy, easy money off of that. Practically any English set sealed, and I'm only investing in ETBs and booster boxes as a general rule of thumb. If I see an outlier for a build and battle box with a Charizard in it, like Vivid Voltage or anything like that, of course, those are great pickups. If you see something like the, the EV gem box, the EV heroes one, that's a, that's a great pickup. You guys know the good sets. You guys know the good cards. I don't have to tell you what's good in this. What I have to tell you is how to capitalize on the money that you have to work with. And people are silly sometimes, man. They just don't maximize their potential on a lot of this stuff. Really take a look at it or talk to people who know more, more about it. For example, I had someone who didn't know Oh my goodness, I live in a state and I get charged ridiculous taxes on this. I wanted to buy this $10,000 card, but dude, I don't want to pay the taxes on that. Then send that to PWCC, my man. You're not going to be charged taxes on that because of the state that it's in. Have you considered all of your options on everything? So invest in sealed product. Sell when there's hype, when there's FOMO. When you see things just skyrocketing up, it's tempting to hold on to it longer and say, I want to make sure I sell at the peak. At by the time you're able to ascertain what's going on, it's too late. A lot of times it's too late. Okay, but how long is this going to take me? Could take you years. Could take you literally months or days, depending on how lucky the timing of the sets and things like that. I know it's hard to do in this game. Take as much emotion out of it as you can. But I really like the EV box. Then keep the EV box. Sell something else. But it's the only thing I have that's worth anything. Then sell the EV box, have the memories of it, take pictures of it. You'll remember it, come back to it later in life when you have more money and you're able to buy 50 of them. I'm just telling you right now, everyone I ever worked with, I can confidently say more than 95% of the people I sat down with do not implement something like this regularly. And that is exactly why they're not able to perform with their money that other people can perform well with. All right, I gave you way too much information for free today. <laughs> I'm kidding. Guys, if you do enjoy my videos, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified of future videos just like this one. And until next time. Because then if you're blah, 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 blah. Because then if you're blah, 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 blah.